Hey guys, how's it going today? Let me put my chair up. Feels weird doing an intro sitting down. If you guys don't know, my name is Weston. My sister's behind the camera. She's gonna be my cameraman for the most part today. Even though I'm eating, <laughs> this thing is so good. Yeah, she's got a funny bun. Uh, also, if y'all little kids and y'all parents don't like y'all get juice, y'all need this. It's awesome. And it's 16% juice. She, she has the little girl, she has the little kid version. Yeah, but I got mom the big boy me. version. With both sperm. Yeah. It does have taurine in it. However, it's fake taurine. Yeah. So it's imitation bull sperm. Y'all should have seen the look on my sister's face when I told her it was bull sperm. Um, alrighty guys, so in today's video, uh, I'm gonna be talking a lot about armadillos because our uh, neighbor over there, his name is David, he's got some armadillo problems in his yard and whatever because they'll come in his yard and they'll just root it all up and screw it, they'll screw his whole yard up, y'all. So I'm gonna be talking a lot about that, showing you a lot about that. I doubt we're gonna see any armadillos. If we do, we'll let you know. Um, it's got so bad that he's told me five bucks it per armadillo tail. And so yeah. Um if I do see an armadillo, I'ma shoot him. We're gonna go to the pond, see if we can shoot some turtles, cause they screw up my fishing. Um, here's what we're using today. Don't mind the scope. It's a very, very shitty scope. Even in the owner's manual. Even in the owner's manual, it said that the recoil of the gun would screw the scope up. Um, but this is a Gamo Black Knight. Chambered in one point, or er, chambered in point one seven seven. As you can see, it is not loaded. Um, love this gun. I really do. Yeah, um, me and him have the same gun we got it for Christmas. It's a 4X scope. I'm gonna buy a new scope for it. Cause oh, I hold on, let me show scope. them the scope. I hate the scope. Here, give me just a second. Sometimes the plastic stuff that gets like, in it. There's like, stuff in the reticle. And I don't know why, I don't know how oh, it got, I got there. I find out. Okay. But let me put y'all flip y'all so it's a pain. Um, move your big ol' eyeball. Weston, stop moving it. Okay, that's what it looks like inside of it. So, I mean, it's still accurate. Yeah. That's all that matters. For a sling. Yeah, that's our dog hunter. We call him honey or honey. For a sling. Move. I Where's just my made, food? I made this sling one, like two weeks ago. Uh, shoulder pad here. I love paracord because it'll extend out for slings and stuff like that. Um, just super simple. Brake barrel. And then guys, for our pellets, this is where it's all at right here. See if you can get the camera to focus on that bad boy right there. That right there is a tomahawk expansion. Uh, here. <clears throat> Y'all, I'll be right back. My sister's gonna talk. Okay. I'm not talking because I'm, I'm tired. But this is our pellet. It's pretty big. I just get a, got a new can, but my sad is a can of 750 pellets for 177 caliber is $10 per can. It's really sad. I just got one last night, but. Alrighty, guys. Well, I was gonna show you the pellet can, but I lost my sisters. Are you serious? <laughs> you lost my can? <laughs> you lost my pellets. Don't worry, I'll, I'll let you use mine. But this one. You lost my pellets. This one's my sister's gun. Yeah, that's my, my gun. It's accurate? Very accurate. It's the exact same gun as mine. Only her scope ain't jacked up. Ain't what? Jacked up. You can see them side by side there. Mine's got a swing, hers doesn't. Mm. Again, this gun is unloaded as you can see. 
and my barrel is harder to crack. Yeah, because I shoot mine a lot more. Yeah, because Funny. I only shoot when I need to shoot. Don't mess up my scope. No, but okay, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna hand the camera to Weston and try to go find my pellets real quick. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Tana. That's camera girl. <laughs> this video is gonna get demonetized if I ever get monetization, guys. So yeah. Ooh, I just ripped a fart. But yeah, this right here is where it's at. Focus. Y'all, I'm trying to get this to focus. It won't focus, y'all, but how many grains is it? Let's show them the can. So there's the can. As you can see right there, there's 7.56 grains. Perfect. Like that right there is a really good armadillo pellet right there, guys. And yeah, as you can see, this is 170 uh, cans. It's 170 um, pellets, but I use like four, so there's only like 150. Yeah, I'm gonna hand this back to my sister. It's a badass pellet, guys. If if you guys get a 177, I I highly recommend those pellets. I don't shoot them just because they're gamma or whatever, but I shoot them because they're accurate. They ain't cheap. Mm -mm. That right there was 10 bucks. For 170. 150. Um, but yeah. So y'all, we're gonna get loaded up. We're gonna walk over there to the pond. We haven't shown you the pond yet, guys. Uh -huh. All right, we're all loaded up. No, we're not. No. Um, I am. Yeah. And you wanna know something? Never ever put the top on crooked of these cans. They're a pain to get off. Yeah. Cause if that and once you drop it, they easily come off. And I've had a many, many, many. As y'all can that. see, her gun is on safety. Ow. That little lever right there. Right, where's my finger? Right there in front of the trigger. This push it forward. Me. That's off safety. Move your leg, move your okay. leg, push it forward. That is off safety. That's not on safety, y'all. And this is off safety. That's on. Same with mine. And y'all can see there, my fire, my pellet gun is on safe. Oops, yeah. Push it forward, it's on fire. You keep it on safe. How we get going at least. Let me Alright, so let me do this. Y'all, if y'all need somewhere to put just a couple of pellets, this right here works great. That's just a medicine bottle. Full of pellets, y'all. Perfect pellet holder. So My sister's getting ready. I'm gonna put this on my back. Here, I'll carry yours. So that, huh, I'll just carry camera. All right, guys. So first I wanna show y'all what these armadillos have been doing. Y'all, it's bad. Like, real bad. Can I leave a monster here? Yeah. Sister wants to know she should leave her monster. So, that ain't an armadillo. I don't know what that hole is. But, you guys may recognize this from our Midnight Fun episode. That's that random house. So, yeah. And then we get into all the armadillo. See all these little holes like this? Like, they're deep, 
That's from armadillos running around and digging all that up, trying to get grubs and insects and invertebrates and whatever. Um, like it's all over, guys. So that's David's house. This is his yard. That's under his porch. They're under his porch too. Uh, I know we was telling you about the pond, and here it is. It, um, the pond. I love it, guys. Yeah. This is all private property. However, uh, people come over here and they very much disrespect it. It makes me mad. There's some big old fish in here, y'all. It's quite low, though, because... It's super it low. Be... It's, what, three, four foot low? Yeah. There was a frog right there. Bullfrog just jumped in right there. A little bullfrog, at least. Um, we do have about a four foot water moccasin living in here. Um, and, yeah. So that ain't good. We've been trying to kill him. But he's a pain to kill, y'all. He's really, really hard to kill. Oh, there we go. Look, Fish just jump right that there. Little broom right there that jump. Alrighty. So y'all, we were gonna come over here, see if we could pop a few turtles, but <laughs> looks like nothing's around, and we're out of catfish food. For y'all that have turtle problems that need him gone. Go out to wherever it is, throw out some catfish food, and br it brings them turtles up like that. And you can just plump, 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 right off the water. You can eat them, you can leave them, you can do whatever. And if you have strong enough pellet guns, which we do, um, you can actually shoot through the shell. I tested it. Because I really wanted to know. A lot of times there's a shit ton of turtles right here. But not yet. Um, yeah. We're going to walk through this. Snake infested stuff. Barefoot. She's got shoes. I, I, normally I'm not barefoot over here though. I never wear shoes. Me it's Always just... It's not my nature. Yeah, the only reason I'm wearing shoes is because you had to go to my school and turn in for your residency. Oh, whoa. Y'all, anyone missing some beer bottles? Huh? Um. Yeah. Uh oh. I just heard something move, y'all. Hope it wasn't a snake. Right about now is copperhead season. So they're over here having all the current babies, so yep. you gotta be super, super careful. Alrighty, y'all, here in about two minutes, my time's gonna cut off because I can only make 15 minute episodes. Like the Mockingbird. And so, those 15 minute episodes, this is going to be part one. All right. Um, we will. We will show, or we will make part two. I won't post it today, but it it'll be coming soon, y'all. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, this is just. This is backside the pond. I'm gonna show you all the bridge. We only have 40 more seconds. So. Right here, Weston. Yeah. My sister knows this place better than I do. There's a lot of people in my view. There's people who are there. It wouldn't matter if they're infecting me, but to a lot of people are really dope. Poison ivy is nothing to me. Now this bridge is old and rickety. Oh, there was a froggy over there. Yeah, 
found eggs over here a lot too. I wonder which ones can I step on? Y'all, I'm too fat. Can I step on that one? I really don't want to fall in. <laughs> I find eggs all around here, but, but it looks like there's not today. Alrighty, guys. This is going to conclude part one. So, I will see you in part number two.